one time this year, so we're really excited. We've had some does coming in, pretty decent buck, and some hogs. So if the hogs show up before dark, or if we get a real big buck that comes in, we're gonna shoot it with a bow.
I hit the grass and I believe it barely nicked his leg, which is probably a recipe for not seeing him back on this property again this year, but who knows. Uh, definitely feels really bad right now. You could tell that the arrow was moving uh, really wild because it had hit something. So, a little bit frustrating. I'm, I'm starting to get pretty frustrated here late in the season, but had a good season so far. I can't complain too much, but it's just, <laughs> it's just not fun to have that happen. So, but at least they got to experience something fun. By the way, um, whisper. Well, that was that was slightly frustrating. Um, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to have the right perspective about it because I wouldn't have been out there if Journey hadn't asked me to go with her. Because um, I haven't seen any deer on camera all year, and so I would have just been sitting here editing Colorado hunting footage, you know, from November tonight. So. I guess I would have uh, probably been like, oh man, I should have been out there last night. But um, I really wouldn't be too frustrated if it hadn't actually hit his leg. I feel like that's going to like keep him away. That's a pretty good spooky thing to do. So <laughs> it's frustrating, but I am glad that Journey asked me to go. And Jet and Journey both got to sit in the blind and watch it all happen. It was really exciting, you know, for me especially, because my heart was getting it. That was a big deer, really pretty footage. Uh, but I hit something you could tell from the arrow flight. So, uh, short and sweet, and they're ready to get out of the blind already. So, we are back in the house, gonna eat some dinner, and probably watch the footage and misery again. <laughs> well, just heard the neighbor shoot. His truck's parked right over there. That deer ran back into here, and I'm imagining he just shot him. He has shot all the bucks using these properties right in here this year. So, frustrating. Pretty sure he just shot him. That's my brother, named Jet Jones. Howdy, partner. Drive. We're heading back to the back today. I did find out that that deer got shot literally five minutes after I shot at him it's uh, very unfortunate it's uh, the way it goes in East Texas especially but a lot of times in the hunting world if you don't have money you can't really ever guarantee that things are gonna be going your way for long but uh, I did mess up a shot I shot into some grass on accident uh, thought I was gonna miss it and I think I hit it but as you can see in the video it's definitely fish tailing back and forth trying to stabilize and it just I think that what happened is it, that broadhead hit some grass and pulled it down, pulled the arrow down, and that's why it hit low. Uh, you know, as as it's bending the grass over and catching, it's start dragging the arrow down. So, very unfortunate. Um, but, you know, blessed to have the land and the opportunity to do something different maybe in the future as well. So, uh, we got a few more weeks. We're going to try to find the arrow and we're going to put some corn out. Maybe something else will show up. Who knows? I can technically drive, but my dad does the pedals and I uh, steer. Right, Dad? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And mice hunt something. Uh -huh. Like right here, and then it was like eating corn. So like his back foot was right here and it was eating corn. Then the shot kind of like over here. So that arrow went right back in here somewhere. Up oh, there. There it is. Pretty rusty. Yeah, be careful, it's sharp. Ooh, kind of got it messed up. Yep. 
clean broad head. That is what it looks like. And a deer that got to live five minutes longer than he. Than if he got shot by my dog. Oh, that makes me hurt. That makes me. But you gotta. It's Christmas Eve, so we're gonna head back to the house and just enjoy family and not think about it, but it's very unfortunate. Thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe.